and one day the Bible says as he was taking his sheep on an ordinary deal during the day he walked by and he sees a fire in the bush for a shepherd to see a fire in the desert is a threat to your business because if you see fire in a desert you know one thing about fire is fire spreads really fast where it's dry so the fact that you are shepherding your sheep and you're seeing fire in the desert you're seeing something that is a threat to what you're doing and if this would have been you or I most likely we would go and call firefighters we would grab some water and without thinking try to go put out the fire because this fire could destroy your business but the Bible says Moses doesn't ignore the fire Moses doesn't go on with his business and doing what he was doing before he saw the fire Moses stops and he turns aside and he says I will go and see what is this interesting thing that I'm seeing that doesn't burn out and as he turned to see God spoke Moses saw the fire in the bush and he didn't just go on but he was aware of the activity of God around him and he paused and was curious enough to go and see what it was about and as he did so God showed himself up and started to speak to Moses I want us to know one very interesting thing if we want God to use us we must become curious and aware of his activity around us we must become hungry for what God is doing around us we must become interested in the bushes God chooses to kindle with his flame and sometimes those bushes have nothing to do with what you're doing you got your own business you have your own schedule you need to bring your sheep to the well you need to bring them back to the fold you have no time to observe some fire in some bush but if you want God to speak you must be curious to see what he is doing before Moses heard God Moses saw what God was doing the Spirit spoke to Moses only when Moses stopped and came close to the fire now when Moses turned his back toward it how can a spirit speak to you when you don't go see it for what it is instead of you read some news of people who just want to put out fires can somebody say amen if we want to have activity of God in our church we must be very cautious and very interested in God's activity around our lives any bush God chooses to set on fire I want to be around it now if that bush might not be your size you prefer apple trees great but if God likes a bush you have to go to the bush not for the bush's sake don't get me wrong bushes that's just a tree but if there is a fire that doesn't stop in that bush it has to grab your attention it has to wetten your appetite can somebody say amen see the the church we as Christians have this tendency historically when the God's when the fire starts around us instead of going to it we have a tendency of calling fire trucks Christianity has a tendency of putting out fires Christianity has a tendency a religion has a tendency to see the fire around us as a threat to what we're doing many people feel like a revival in a city is a threat to every church the only people who should be threatened by revival is the devil darkness and demons when we feel threatened by revival happening in a church across the street we have to ask a question are we on the right side since when did revival became a threat to you revival is not our threat revival is our desire and even if that revival doesn't happen here and it happens there we'll be like Moses leave the sheep right here says sheep you wait right here and let me go see it and I'll bring it back to you Moses did not wait for the sheep to go see the fire Moses says sheep you wait and the shepherd is gonna go see the fire not to put it out but so that I can see what the fire can do for me